lake and it was a warm night and when the lake was still and I said, well, let's go for a swim. So we just pulled over and in they went. And that night it was, it turned into like a family picnic. It was the reverse of Terry meeting his heroes. Greg was meeting his hero. This was his. And this is where it all happened. Can you just share a little bit? Yeah, this is this is Jackfish Lake between Terrace Bay and Marathon in Ontario. Terry Fox swam here on the evening of August 26, 1980, with Greg Scott. And uh, the film crew from CBC was here filming it, so that's why. They have good records of everything. The Coach House Motel is just over the trees there on the other side. We spent the night. And that's where we're going to be sleeping tonight, that's room 10. That's where you're going to be sleeping, in room number 10 <laughs> in the Coach House Motel, the Terry Fox room. <laughs> what an honor. <laughs> we're glad that you're here. Glad we're, glad, we're glad to keep the story alive, that people can keep reliving it. And anyone can stay in that room. This is not some private museum here. Anyone can stay there. We don't charge anyone extra for it. So just to keep the memory alive. That's the idea. It was a beautiful evening. Yes. There's Cole taking pictures of where Terry Fox and the young boy swam. The buildings that were here are gone now. They are, eh? There was a, there was a little uh, resort here, like a little series of motel cabins, fishing cabins. Right. Yeah, I think they were called Blue Moon Cabins or something like that. Mm hmm Beautiful, just peaceful here. I will be back in the morning with my uh, empty bottle and I will be taking some of the water from here. Keep it as a souvenir and some sand. Terry Fox, your legacy will always live on your legend. You continue to do a lot of wonderful work here will never never be forgotten first first bugs have been bothered by this yeah, there's no bugs here this year. This is, yeah. it's, been, it's been such a sunny, warm summer here. It's very unusual. This leads out into uh, Lake Superior. This is actually Lake Superior level. Oh, it is, eh? Yeah, you could, we have a lot of people who put in canoes and kayaks here and they paddle off to the uh, Slate Islands. How cold is it? Check it out. Check it out. Cole, looks like you have white socks on. Of course, the afternoon Terry was here was a lot warmer and he needed the refreshment. <laughs> yeah, we're sure. We got to come back and get a little bit of water and sand from here and keep it as a souvenir.
when you did this just in the nick of time. Another half an hour and you would have missed the opportunity. Yeah. Can you pass my shoes? Mm-hmm. Wow, you got a bit of a tan there, Cole. Yeah. <laughs> nice, clean, white feet. Thank you. I was a thick shot. I've only been in there once this year. Yeah. Well, if it's warm, maybe uh, we can come for a dip tomorrow, Cole. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm definitely going to come back for a little bit of sand, a little bit of water souvenir on behalf of uh, Terry. Very peaceful. It is very peaceful. Very. It's very, really nice. Yeah. Very peaceful energy here. I'm put my shoe on. Yeah, we have trails behind the motel. But we're not there when Terry was here. <laughs> so when we when we need to find peace, all we got to do is walk out our back door and walk around in the woods for half an hour, and we're we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got your runners on, eh? Well, thank, thank you. Are those the shoes you're running? Yeah. Those are, um, these are actually newer. New uh, ones. These are, yeah, I went through like eight. Eight pairs already? Yeah, eight or nine. Wow. <laughs> Something like that. Lost count, I had them all in the trailer. He keeps them all and he gave Glamina one pair. Yeah, she's the one who helps me out a lot. Yeah. She supported him with all his, his runners so far. Yeah. yeah. She's an angel. She's an angel sent. Uh, well, we thank you so, oh. so much oh, you're welcome. It's and, a pleasure, um, right? uh, for taking your time and, um, and escorting my son and I here yeah. and uh, showing us a little bit of uh, the history of Terry Fox. Well, I like the story. It's, it's an inspiring story. It's, mm -hmm. it's very much like a Greek tragedy. It's a uniquely Canadian story, but it's a uniquely human story as well. Yeah. It really is. It's, it's a story that needs to be preserved. It really does. And yeah. we're just we're just feel honored that we have this unique spot to share with everyone. It's something we can share with everyone. That's right. And I, I, I would really like to see every Canadian come and share this with us. We would be more than willing to welcome anyone here. Yeah. Thank, you Thank you very, very much. much.